Hey, what's going on, you guys? Happy Ableton 12.2 day, or uh, I guess it's like the day after. Um, so have you guys heard of the new Expressive Chords? One thing that I thought would be kind of cool is creating your own chord sets. So maybe you play keys and you want to create like a bank of your own chords. Maybe you like a set of chords that you're hearing in a song and you want to play those and store them in in this device for uh you know later use or something to inspire you in a future track that's what this video is going to be about here so um the first thing i'm going to do here is demonstrate how the formatting goes for this because it's a little wonky sometimes but essentially what you want to do is i've done a few of these already you want to format them so that each chord is on a single beat, right? So I'm going to actually, uh, I'm actually going to take you through how to do that with um, this example here. Um, you can see that these notes are being kind of like arpeggiated. We want to straighten them out so they're, that each chord is on a beat, a quarter note. So to do that, I'm just going to copy this down here so I can keep the original and um, I'm going to adjust things here. Okay, so our first chord is this one. Okay, and um, the first measure you see, you got beat one, two, three, and four. I want to make sure all of these are just on beat one. Okay, now. What I like to do is just kind of highlight the area here, the length of one beat, do uh, Option Command J, and that snaps them all into place. Now this works most of the time. Sometimes it's not perfect, but it's still a little bit faster. So um, let's just keep sliding these over. See, I'll show you, I'll do the same thing here but only a couple of them actually go in. So you want to slide some of these over. So they're in the general like pocket of where they should be. Now I'm just arrow, I'm just using the arrow button, but you can slide them too. And uh, there you go. So chord one, chord two, Chord three. If you know a faster way of doing this, um, please comment below and let me and everyone else know. Okay, so that's chord three and chord four. All right, so it's a four chord thing. Um, which means I can just highlight the rest of these. Bye. <laughs> Don't need those anymore. And then what I'll do is I'll just trim that so it's packaged nice and neatly. And the easiest thing to do is to drag your new clip onto the same lane or track as your expressive chord thing. Um, I'm actually going to take that out and drag in a brand new one. The way you find it is you go to packs and then it's under, it's under packs. You just drag that in. Okay. You have to make sure that you have an instrument also. Um, that's like maybe one thing that I would maybe ask Ableton to add into expressive chords is maybe just a simple kind of tone generator just so you can hear it. I have just a keyboard sound. Now that we have this, I actually have that one that I've just created, these guys. So I wanna create um, a series of chords and throw them in here. So we wanna import. So the, the thing you wanna do is you wanna open, open this section here by clicking on that blue arrow. And um, another kind of tip here is um, when you import, 
you can only import one clip of MIDI notes. So if you have multiple um, clips with different chord progressions, what you actually have to do is you got to consolidate those. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to take these guys, just shift them over to here. Okay, so um, now I have my four clips with different chord progressions. Uh, if I want to import all of these chords, I have to consolidate those so it's one clip with a bunch of chords. Then they'll all uh, reflect down into the, uh, the grid there. Before that, I'll just show you what I mean. So let's say I'm, I'm highlighting all of these and I press import. And it doesn't want to import anything. Um, let's say let's say I want to do like two of these. See, it doesn't. It just doesn't want to import them. So if I select one, then they come down here. You can see that they're there. Right. So yeah, those are the same chords that I had in there. Um, but I want all of these to be in there. So I'm gonna just do the uh, consolidate. That's just the um, command J function. Um, now that that's one clip, I'll just do the same thing. Uh, highlight the clip and import. Now all of those chords are in. Oops. Yeah, so that's how you do that. Um, so let's say that you are now happy with your collection of chords. Then you just press this button here to save that. And you just call this um, my chords, yay. <laughs> All right, then that, is, um, then that is something you can now go and recall. Where it's saved to is under user library presets under MIDI effects and then down at the max MIDI effect. But anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it here. Um, so if you found that this video uh, helpful, then awesome. <laughs> all right, you guys, I, um, we'll see you in the next video.